Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. We got into some deep stuff or what I think is the start of some deep stuff last episode where we started to see a little bit more of Suki and why he is not seemingly as committed as the other Karasuno athletes. Um, we saw that with the implementation of a lot of different new techniques, the Karasuno team is taking a bit of a dip um, in their performance. But like I said, I think they're gonna come out of it and be way, way stronger than before. Asahi asserted his dominance again. We had a little back and forth about like team dynamics and competition within a team, which I thought was so great and so cool. And we started to wonder like, what is up with Tsukushima? What is up? So I really hope that this is the Tsukushima backstory episode. Um, my fingers and my toes are crossed because I'm so curious about like what happened in his past and like what has made him into the guy he is today. So today we are building off of the arc that has been happening in the last few episodes and we are watching Haikyuu Season 2 Episode 8 Illusionary Hero. What would he say? Oh my gosh. What would he say? I was losing it in the last episode too. Would it be thank you? Like, what, what, would, what would it even be? And okay, this kind of explains Yamaguchi's like tie and bond with Tsukushima. He is the one who like took him under his wing and protected him from bullies, which I love. I love that. But come on, just tell me what you would say. I'm about to start this episode. I just want to say that I love all the little almost brand name things like the name on the shirt is, is says X A6. The water bottle that is on the screen right now, Potari Sweat. That is in Asia, the Potari Sweat is like Gatorade. I just love how they change things up just a little bit so you know what brand is supposed to be, but it's not. Anyways. <laughs> Watch out. Watch out. 
ちょっと休ませろってそれあいつさそんな悠長なこと言ってらんないっすよ俺Oh、my gosh, look how cute he is. Actually, very true. <laughs> okay, so we all know that the little giant was the ace, so. And he was a first year, so why the heck would he lie? Was it to like make sure that he lived up to being his little brother's idol? Or, or what? Like, nobody would expect a first year to be the ace. So, this is interesting. Is that a little Yamaguchi? Oh my gosh. They are the cutest little kids.
明日カラスの試合見に行くけど行く緊張するから来るなとは言われてんだけど兄貴高三だから県内での試合は最後なんだよね<笑>行く秋田君の試合初めてだ築島の兄ちゃんもカラスのバレー部うちもなんだけど築島んちポジションはウイングスパイか<笑>うちも Little Giant's brother. They all look like the current players. I'm so uncomfortable right now. Where is he? No, he wasn't even on the team. He was just a fan. Gosh, he was probably just so embarrassed and couldn't admit it. Like, I thought that he was even embarrassed to like be on the team but not being a starting member. But to not even be on the team and to be... I'm so uncomfortable right now. Like, who cares? Like, okay, yeah, your little brother looks up to you, whatever, but like... Oh, just be honest, my heart. Okay, is he going to tell him what I want him to tell him? Okay. 
絶対に一番になんかなれないどこかで負けるそれを分かってんのにみんなどんな原動力で動いてんだよ I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. What do you do? I don't know how to do this. But I can't do it. Hey, you listen to me. Do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? 強制的にやらせたら自主練じゃないだろうそうだけどさ俺は最初の3対3やった時からそこまで心配してないよでも毎日月島がやめるなんて言い出したら焦って止めるからその時は手伝ってねえ月島がどう考えてるか分かんないけどさ俺たちはまだ発展途上もいいとこだし才能の限界なんて分かんないだろうもしそれを感じることがあったとしたってそれでも上を目指さずにはいられない理屈も理由も分かんないけどさ確かにあおまいガーシュ OK definitely got the beginnings of some tears there holy I love how Yamaguchi used Tsuki's own vocabulary against him by calling him lame i liked that because that is the word that suki used the first time he ever met yamaguchi when he was uh defending him from the bullies and then for yamaguchi to call him lame for acting this way now that probably made an impact but like just to see how he was thinking of just like what is the point in trying when there will always be somebody better and then yamaguchi's response of like but isn't pride enough like oh my god kill me that is like the definition of you know pursuing excellence is just like you don't do it to for any reason other than just like the attempt at being the best and you don't know what's going to happen and you don't know what other people are going to do or how good they'll they'll be or if you'll win or lose or whatever but you do it just because the idea of trying to be the best at something in and of itself is so rewarding and so amazing and so like i am so proud of yamaguchi for standing up to Tsukushima and calling him out on his behavior and his attitude. And then to see like Suga and Daichi talking together and like Daichi's giving Suki some space, but he knows that like, if he needs to step in, like he will never let him go and he will like help him get on the right path. Like all of this together <laughs> is what like true friendship, true, camaraderie being on a team is all about and i'm just like so overwhelmed in a good way i hope it turns out <sighs> please go in the gym please go in the gym and i always do this i always press pause to talk a little bit right before the commercial break you're welcome Ugh. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
Okay, Bo Bokuto, Bokuto, is that how you say it? Shoot, I'm always so worried about the pronunciation. Bokuto basically said everything that I had said before that and he put it into a perfect kind of little package in that like you can't worry about tomorrow, you can't worry about like what anyone else is doing, just practicing and learning something new and putting it into you know, a match and just giving everything you have towards a goal is, is what makes sport so fun. And yeah, I echo everything he said. He worded it perfectly. 
I also love the sun and moon. I know you guys have told me about he meaning sun and suki meaning moon. And I messed it up at the beginning of last episode, like jumping into like something with Kageyama's name, but yes. And I think that that like juxtaposition is so perfect because they, Hinata and Tsukushima are such opposites in every way. Like um, Hinata's personality is more outgoing and bubbly and bright and energetic and everything that kind of represents the sun. And Tsukushima is like more quiet, reserved. He's more pensive, thoughtful, maybe even like a little morose and like a sadder attitude. And I feel like that darkness and that energy kind of represents the moon. So I love that they brought that up. You guys already got way ahead of it and, and informed me of that. So kudos to you. But I love that I did not expect it to actually come up in the show. So just to see that their names mean sun and moon, that their like energies and who they are as people are such opposites too is so perfect. Uh, I did not even breathe once, so I'm like gasping for breath, but that's so perfect. And I think, I hope that it will be, um, that it'll even be inspiring for Yamaguchi when he asked Hinata if he sees Tsukushima as a rival and Hinata being like, yeah, he has so many skills that I don't. Maybe Yamaguchi will start to believe in himself and to think that he can overtake one of the players, whether it's Tanaka or Asahi or Anoshita or somebody like that. Like, I have so many thoughts running through my head right now. This is great. Oh, that was a great angle. ブロック<笑> I'm so happy. He's gonna block him. He's gonna block him. Yes. Oh, baby. Oh. He felt his presence. He didn't want to get blocked. Oh my gosh, I had the biggest smile on my face like for the last three minutes and the whole time I was thinking to myself like, you look like a creep, stop smiling so big, what's wrong with you? And I tried to like make it small but then it just wouldn't go away. So that's why I looked like that for the last like section. 
I find it interesting that opposing teams are helping each other. Like Kuro has no reason really to give Tsukushima coaching and blocking advice, but he is. And I think that that just speaks to the community that is volleyball. And even though there's tons of people that play, the community itself is like, it's small and everybody knows each other. Everybody has played with each other or against each other or some way or some form, you know, have heard of each other, like something. And so to see that like brotherhood there between an older player in Kuro and young Tsukushima, I think is so beautiful. Um, and also, Bokuto was definitely scared of being blocked. Tsukushima put up a wall there and he knew that if he tried to go for that angle swing again, he would be shut down. So he definitely got scared no matter what he says. So, okay. Our boy, Tsukushima, is standing up and is gonna put up a bit of a fight. And I love that, I love it. The sun and the moon analogy is giving me life, really. I want to see those two go head to head. I want to see Hinata and Tsukushima make each other better. Um, I think that that gives me so much excitement, really, to think about that. Um, so he just, uh, he needed, he needed to be called out by somebody that was his friend, but that he always saw as inferior for Yamaguchi to stand up to him. He needed that because it's probably never happened before. And uh, all of these players are evolving in their own way at their own pace. And I think it is incredible, really. I, I love it. So I feel like I'm going on and on and on here talking, but this character development and how the players are growing as not only like individuals, but as teammates and athletes is, oh, it's making me smile so big and I could talk about it all day, but I won't. What I do want is for you guys to comment below with anything that has come to your mind in this episode because I feel like there was a lot. There was a lot happening. Um, so be sure to hit me up in the comments below. And as always, I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel and hang tight because episode nine will be coming very soon. Thanks so much guys. I am obsessed with season two.